Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verses 21 through 31. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yes, they shall not be planted, Yes, they shall not be sown. Yes, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them. And they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom they will ye liken me. Or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high. And behold, who hath created these things that bringeth out their hosts by numbers. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord. And my judgment is passed over from my God. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not? Neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. For even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 begins with words of comfort to God's people, specifically to Jerusalem. The warfare that had been accomplished in verse 2 likely describes the captivity in Babylon as predicted in Isaiah 39 verses 5 through 7. God's people are to be released from their bondage to return home. That will show that his iniquity is pardoned in Isaiah 40 verse 2. But there is more in the future than just the homecoming. Isaiah 40 and 3 speaks of the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The New Testament declares that as fulfilled in the person and work of John the Baptist, which can be found in Matthew 3 verses 1 through 3, whose mission prepared for the coming of Jesus. Isaiah, who spoke prophetically of Jesus, then continued his spirit guided foreshadowing across the rest of the book. Some of those are the most stirring messianic prophecies in the Old Testament. Isaiah 53 is perhaps the prime example. As though responding to those who may be skeptical whether his words would ever come to pass, the prophet offered in Isaiah 40 a passionate defense of God's uniqueness and power. If Isaiah's prediction seemed too good to be true, then perhaps his hearers needed to reevaluate their view of God for whom Isaiah spoke. God is more than capable of doing everything his prophet said he would do. Adrenaline is a hormone and neotransmitter produced by the body in response to stressful situations. Adrenaline production results in an additional burst of energy. 
Occasionally we hear of a person who lifts a car off of someone pinned beneath it. And adrenaline is the key to being able to do so. The rescuer, though not very big or strong, suddenly finds a rush of strength to accomplish the rescue. Today's lesson highlights what might be called God's spiritual adrenaline that is available to God's people. The strength he provides to those who become weary and overwhelmed by circumstances. We all suffer the repercussions of life in a fallen world. Some sufferers, these more personally and painfully than others. But to all who become faint of heart, who feel they have no strength, to continue there is a strength available that is not their own it is a strength that cannot be found in this world's resources it is a strength that does not require any kind of self-help manual surgical procedure or dietary supplement the requirement is merely to wait upon and place one's trust and hope in the Lord those who do promised Isaiah find the help that they need whenever we study the book of Isaiah we often focus on what he has to say about the messianic future but the prophet also has much to say about the messy present that people experience daily therefore never forget that everything Isaiah says about the Lord in today's passage is still true let us pray Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the strength to carry us through. May we witness that strength to others so that they too may walk and not faint. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.